hearing from the families of some of these hostages themselves. Joined now by Netta Hyman, daughter of 84-year-old Ditsa Hyman, kidnapped by Hamas. Now she's joining us here from Haifa. Netta, there's very few words you can say to hearing that, but having seen and heard these reports of an imminent hostage deal, are you hopeful? I'm very hopeful. I think we must uh, do this deal, and uh, no, ma no matter how many will come back, everyone is matter. Uh, we said in Israel, uh, in Hebrew, uh, it's better uh, one bird on your hand than two on the tree. Then I prefer uh, every bird that we can uh, uh, put in our hand, every man, every child, every uh, old man, I prefer them here. We don't know how how long they have, how many time they have, uh, especially the, the old one that need their medication. We don't know uh, if they have time, and maybe in one week they uh, will come back as bodies. Then we need to do now what we can to get now anyone that we can get back. Do you believe until this time the government has really been taking these negotiations seriously? I've spoken to other families that believe that they've not really considered it a major issue of theirs. I don't know if they're taking the deal uh, seriously, but I don't. I do know that uh, they, all, they all the time said uh, it's not the uh, the in uh, the the first priority is to destroy Hamas. And to get a, a to win the war, and we don't hear that the first priority for them is to bring them back. Uh, one of the questions that we've heard asked is we don't actually know the number of the current deal right now. We do certainly know, though, that it's not going to be everyone. What is the message to the people who are going to be left behind, their families? Because we don't know who that's going to be right now. I think the message that need to be, we hope that they all will come back, but now we need to get what we can. Even if it will be just the children and my mom will stay there, I prefer it, that we can, we get what we can. Now, this is all coming while our own government here in Israel seems to make some schizophrenic statements and moves that might end up undermining this deal. We, we saw just the other day members of the coalition yelling at families such as yours that um, maybe not you directly, but other families over pits of policy. We had this discussion about a death penalty deal for terrorists. Ultimately, do you believe that the government is undermining its own negotiations right now? I don't know. I don't know. Part of them, no. Part of them, yes. I hope uh, the small cabinet will uh, decide the the best uh, decision uh, to bring them back to get the, this deal. Uh, I, um, the the govern the cabinet have uh, can uh, decide ab about the fire stop. Fire stop. Uh, they can't. Uh, decide along uh, to release uh, uh, to release uh, prisoners, the Palestinian prisoners. Uh, for this, we need all the all the government. I hope it will be a majority there to do this. Certainly, and we're, we're all hoping that there are some clear answers in the coming hours, the coming days, and we're praying for you and your families and the families of hundreds of Israelis right now. Thank you very much for speaking with us, Nata. Thank you very much.